Okay, as tuners, we rely heavily upon our data that we uh, get blogging, whether it's street tuning or at the track or on a dyno, but primarily I'm tuning on the street, so that data is what I rely heavily upon when I'm making my tuning decisions. But there's another tool that we have when we're a tuner is our spark plugs. Now we can read our spark plugs and they, they will tell you a lot about what's going on in that cylinder. Um, ideally, that would only be a wide open throttle pull without a lot of idle time or cruising around on it. But that's pretty difficult to do in your street tuner. So I usually go off the wide band when I'm making my fueling decisions when I'm tuning. But the spark plugs can still be used to tell me quite a bit. So... Um, one thing that we can look at is the heat range of the plug. You'll see a little discoloring on the threads about the second thread down there. It's a little bit difficult to see. But you can see how it's shiny and then as it gets the carbon at the top is black but then you've got a little bit of coloring on the threads there like a, a tan color a couple threads in that's telling you the heat range of the plug is good um, if that heat went farther down then your plugs too hot or if it was clear there was no marking at all you maybe had too cold of a plug so that's one thing we can kind of look at another thing is our timing mark as this strap ground strap heats up and it changes color we can look for the point on the strap where the color changes and sometimes you'll get a a nice line so you can see that change and right there you can kind of see that line on the strap going across there right at the edge of the bend now that would show that I could put some more timing in this as that bend that line moves farther down towards the base as you add timing and you don't want it to go all the way to the weld but in the middle of that bend is a good place to be and then if it's up on the flat you don't have near enough timing in it so you see there I'm just on the edge of the bend and I could really put some more timing in that and it end up moving that timing mark farther around the corner so that's another thing we can kind of check um, the one thing you really can't do other than you can see how much fuel is on the base of these. This has had a lot of idle time and cruising around. So that's why I don't like to use I like to use the wide band when I'm making my fueling decisions because it's not ideal to have a lot of idle time on these plugs when you're reading them for the air fuel ratio. But you can still see the other thing you can look at is how clean and white that porcelain is. The, vis the part you can see here, um, one thing to be bad is to have little tiny black specks on that. You'd have to look really close. I like to use a flashlight and look really close or a real bright light and see if there's any black specks on that white porcelain. And if there is, that's the beginning signs of detonation. So you definitely want to watch that. If you've got black specks, you want to figure out why, whether you're lean, too much timing, combination of both. And even worse yet would be if you shine a flashlight on that and look really close, you see tiny little shiny particles. That's p part of your piston or ring lens being melted, essentially. You're getting detonation. So you definitely don't want that. And if you start getting to the point where you're melting the strap or the tip of the electrode or the porcelain's been melted, then you're way too hot and you've probably already caused damage so really watch for those little speckles any sign of that when you're tuning the signs of detonation that maybe maybe your knock sensors didn't pick it up or didn't react fast enough pulling timing and you still got some detonation there because that's what the knock sensors are trying to detect by their hearing it by the time they pull timing could be too late so you definitely want to watch for signs of detonation now another thing, if you're going to look for wide open throttle fueling, you're not going to really be able to tell that without cutting open the plug. And again, 
you know, you've idled around, you've had other things cruise time on it, so it's not an accurate test anyway if you haven't done just a wide open throttle pull without a lot of idle time. But I'm going to demonstrate just for the sake of showing how you do that. You're going to need to cut this plug open and remove the threads. And you can get down in here and see this ring. This ring right around here, that dark ring, that tells you what your wide open throttle feeling is. If that goes farther up, it's richer and a real fine pencil thick line is kind of what you want down at the base that'd be a good wide open throttle air fuel you can see on this one this is a rich plug that'd be very rich and if it was down like this that'd be closer but more like this and this is still probably a touch on the rich side but safe So that's just a real brief, you know, basic understanding of reading plugs that it is another tool in your toolbox. And